Hello, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. We're here staring at a reflection and as we're standing here looking at a reflection, smelling the beautiful flowers, oh, stepping on the flowers as well, we, uh, we learned something about ourselves, you know? We, 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 we had a reflection about our reflection, which is pretty profound if you ask me. Once a bug catcher and now a bug maniac. But my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Yeah, so I don't remember what video I was watching. It was, I think it was, it was definitely someone, because this is like something I do. I don't know why I do this, but for some reason, whenever, I, whenever I'm playing a, a specific game, I, I will like go on YouTube and I mean, whenever I'm playing- oh, that's gonna hurt. Whenever I'm playing a specific game on my YouTube channel, I go on YouTube and, like, search whatever game I'm playing, and I make the search results, like, uploaded within the last hour, or, like, uploaded today. Um, and what usually comes up is a pretty interesting mix of- sometimes you have, like, relatively big YouTubers, but- for the most part, it's like really tiny channels. Uh, and for some reason, I just am fascinated with watching with watching these small channels and like seeing all these different types of commentary. My neptitude also remains unchanged, but one of the one of those videos I was watching, and I don't know, you, the person who made that video might be fucking watching this. I mean, chances are slim, but hey, the chances are there. Uh, to be sure, but they were talking about how one NPC in this game talks about uh, how he kind of like graduated from being a bug uh, catcher into a bug maniac, and uh, that's the guy. <laughs> if you if you didn't ever figure out who it was, it's this guy on Route 117, I guess. So there you go. That's the most random fucking story I could have told. What do you think? Aren't these flowers pretty? I planted them all. Yeah, they're very beautiful as I run over them and destroy them. If this was Animal Crossing, your flowers would be fucked, man. Please, allow me to evaluate if you have raised your Pokemon properly. I have, man, alright? I fought... I fought the Pokemon breeder, and I fought... Maybe he's your brother, you know? I fought Breeder Isaac, and he said that I was ra I raised my Pokemon superbly. So, I mean, what else can I say? That's really, you know, if, if, if Isaac approves, then everything is going swimmingly for me. Okay, and I guess, I guess Shirio is going to be the one to reap all the experience from this battle. What little experience there is to be gained from this, I guess Shirio is going to get it all. Which is fair, because, uh, Sanders got all the experience from the from the Isaac battle. Yeah, wow. So everything in the everything in the Isaac battle was weak to fighting. And everything in this one's weak to electric. Well I guess you, the same could be said about grass, I guess. Well no, because Winkle only takes neutral damage from grass. Right, so yeah, electric really is the way to go. Big tears. Uh, I think that is a move that just lowers the opponent's attack. It could be special attack, I'm not sure, but I don't really want it. I don't care. All we need is spark. Oh, I guess not everything here is weak to electricity, <laughs> so we're gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna have to switch back into Sanders, because he, he's always gotta... He's always gotta be showing off, you know? He's always gotta have his time in the sun in every battle. Of course, I mean, rightfully so, I guess, because Blaziken is amazing, and even Kabuskin is amazing, so I'm really... You know, he really is, like... I hate saying this, because I love, I love Swampert so much. I've never really used Sceptile, but, I mean, I'm sure he's got it in his place. I feel like he kind of suffers because he doesn't have the dual typing, like, uh, like the others, but... I guess that does give him an advantage that he has less weaknesses, but still. Um, 
I really feel like Torchic is the objective, like, best starter. I mean, Swampert, Swampert is, is really good, too. He's, he's a little more tanky, but... Um, Blaziken, I feel like, is a better sweeper. I think he has better attack stats. I'm glad I met a superb trainer in you. I hope to see you again. Yeah, see, I told you. I could have already told you without having to battle you that I was superb. Because, because Pokemon Breeder Isaac said I was, and his word is gospel. And if you don't believe Isaac, then you can go burn in an oven. Okay, with that, we do have the opportunity to go west uh, into this town here. I don't want to step one tile too far, because then it will be revealed. Uh, uh, how far can we go? Oh, okay, it's Verdant Turf Town. Uh, spoiler alert, but I don't want to go there quite yet because there's like something that we can do there that kind of requires us to beat the Mauville City Gym first. So, I'm going to, well, do I really, yeah, I probably should. I'm going to go heal up uh, my team and I'll meet you back in the gym. Alright, let's step into the gym and see what awaits us in Mauville City. Oh, why is the music so weird? Hey, how's it going, champion bound Andrew? Watson, the leader of Mauville City, uses electric type Pokemon. If you challenge him with water type Pokemon, he'll zap them. And he's put in switch control doors all over his gym. Eccentric. Hey, go for it. Why is the music... I feel like the audio is really weird. Has it been like that the whole episode? I hope not. It's really weird, okay. With my charm and my Pokemon's moves, you'll be shocked. Okay, so I put I put Dark Knight in the front of the party because I, I don't know. He, I feel like everyone's gonna use Magnemite. Oh, Metatype, okay. That's, that's not even electric type, but okay. Um, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, Dark Nut resists electricity, so I guess that's why I put him up front. And also, he's the lowest member of the team, so I figured he could he could he could benefit from some experience gain. I really hope that isn't like a problem with. Oh God, I hope it's not a problem with the headphones. That would be a total disaster because <laughs> I all, I only have one pair of headphones, dude. If, the, if these go if these go out then you know I'm screwed I can't listen to anything okay detect well I don't know why you're using metatite because two metatites like what a, it's not an electric type at all onion head is no is no electric type he may he may convince you because you know onions are pretty they're pretty argumentative and they're pretty convincing uh, of most things but I can assure you, they're not electric. My electric soul, it'll shatter your dreams whole! Whoa, yeehaw! I hope you're wearing a shirt, man, because if not... Oh my god, dude. Guitarist Kirk, please. Okay, well, I guess you are in a gym, so... I guess if there's one place you're allowed to be shirtless, a gym is it. But still, it's just not right. Especially if you're if you're approaching a, a young boy and, and and asking to for you to fight his dog. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we've seen Electric yet. It's entirely possible that we have, and I just forgot about it. it. Was I mean, if we did see Electric, it was a whole week ago, so you can't blame me for forgetting. Um, but it's a pure Electric type, new to Gen three. It evolves into Manectric. You know what? I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that I did talk about Electrike because I can distinctly remember talking about Manectric and that uh, I, I used to use him in like every playthrough that I did at Pokemon Emerald, but now I use Plusl because Plusl is love and Plusl is life. And he's the best, po well I guess my Plusl is a girl, so she's the best Pokemon in existence and that's not debatable. It's a fact, you know? Objectively, 
Colossal is uh, the best Pokemon in the entire game. It it has the ability to uh, you know be a, a very viable special sweeper. I guess no, it doesn't really. But oh, I still love Plusle. I don't care what anybody says. Plusle's stats may be subpar, but he always will have a special, special place in my heart. Or she, I guess, because Cheerio is like... You get the idea. I hope now that I've beaten you, you can put a shirt on and maybe go home and write a song or something. I don't know. In the next episode of Pokemon Emeralds, I guess we'll continue fighting the trainers here in the Mauville City Gym. And we will also face off against the gym leader. So that should be fun. I will see you then.